Ah, oh, todo bien cansado. Okay. Yo creo que entró el teacher. Sí. Continuamos entonces, estamos ready. Uy, adiós, ya le voy a pedir ayuda porque no lo he logrado, fíjate. ¿Todavía no ingresa? No, no lo he logrado. ¿Y está no ingresando sé, sí. de, de la computadora? Sí, fíjate, viejo, desde la, desde la PC. Hey, Rafa, uh, go back. You go back. Hey, what happened? <ríe> ¿Qué tal, Daniel? Hey, Present. ¿Cómo bien? Todo súper. Ok, perfecto. Gusto verlo nuevamente, se había perdido. Mr. Dabney. <ríe> No, perdido. Hey. Hola, hola. Losting. Hello, teacher. Good night. Good evening. Good evening, Daniel. How are you? Nice, nice. And you? Great. Thank you for asking. Hi, hey. teacher. Hi, guys. Hi, Mariano. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Hi, Rafael Ernesto. Hello. Hello, teacher. How are you today? I feel very well. And you, teacher? I feel great. Thank you. I'm great. All right. Very good. Okay, guys. So it's 8 o'clock. Well, it's 8.02. So I just want to welcome you to the new intermediate two course. All right. Can you guys hear me okay? Yes, that's correct. Yeah. All right. Very good. So I hope everybody can turn on their cameras because remember that is something that you must do anyway. All right, so as we um, go along with the class, I hope everybody turns on their cameras, please. So, yeah, that would be very nice. Okay, guys, for the ones that know me and for the ones that don't know me, my name is Jessica Cerritos and I'm going to be again with most of you. We have some new um, students that some of you are joining us from other courses and some of you mm -hmm. are completely new. All right, so anyway, welcome to everyone, all right? Okay, you know how this works? Um, just give me a second, guys. Yes, you know how this works? The first day of classes, I have to give you some general outlines, guidelines that we need to go over that is part of the, the first day of classes that we need to do. All right, so I want you to bear with me and uh, I wanna show you the presentation. Let's just, um, you know what? I'm gonna start presenting in like two or three more minutes so everyone else joins class. All right, so what, what about right now? What if right now we introduce yourselves especially from the ones i don't or i did not have last course all right so let's see rafael ernesto you were not with me last course so can you tell me a little bit about yourself please rafael repeat please teacher yes um can you introduce yourself to me rafael because you were not with me the, you were not with me the previous course I don't understand the teacher. Okay, can you introduce yourself? Can you tell me something about you, uh, Rafael? ¿No me escucha? Se escucha bien lejos. ¿Los demás me escuchan bien lejos? No. No, okay. Daniel, can oh. you listen to me, Daniel? Can you listen to me okay? Yes, yes teacher, I listen to you. Good evening, teacher. Hello. All right, veamos. Good evening, everyone. All right, veamos. Um, Carla Vanessa Vasquez. Hi, Carla. Can you hear me okay? Hi. Yes, I can hear you. Excellent. Carla, you were not with me last course, so can you please introduce yourself to us? Okay. Good evening to everyone. My name is Carla, and I wasn't um, invited. In the last course, so. Oh, Carla, all right. <laughs> okay, but now you have been invited. A little issues. Okay, issues always happen, Carla, but that's okay. You're here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we are ready. Excellent. Carla, do you want me to call you Carla, Carla Vanessa, Vanessa, Vane? What do you prefer? Vane, it's okay. Vane, it's fine. Very good. Yeah, I was checking my list, Carla, bueno, Vane, and I have three Carlas, entonces, sí. 
Es que ser Vane. Okay. Okay. Ahora no ven a decir es Carlita. All right, Carlita has been with me since forever. So Carlita es Carlita, you are Vane. All right, very nice. Thank you, Carlita. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Um, Ever, hi Ever. Usted no es nuevo, Ever. Hi, Ever. Hi, teacher. Good to see you again. Good to see you too. All right, bam. Thank you. Thank you. A ver, Salvador Sorto. Hi, Salvador. Hi, Miss. How are you? Fine, how are you? I'm great, thank you. So, Salvador, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, please? Uh, well, uh, my name is Salvador Sorto. I'm 40 years old, uh, but you can call me Chamba. I prefer you can call me Chamba. Excellent. And I work, I work in Tigo. And, and only that. <laughs> Chamba, excellent. Thank you. Welcome to this course, all right? Okay. Very good. Vicky, por ahí que Oscar Arnulfo was texting. My name is Oscar. I'm having trouble with my camera. Excuse me. That's okay, Oscar. Um, what about your microphone? Is it working okay? Oscar, is your uh, your microphone working okay? Or maybe not. Hold on, guys. All right, very good. Let's see who else is new here. Abner Flores. Hi, Abner. Hi. Hello. Hi, how are you? Super, super. My name is Abner. I live in San Salvador, Soya City. Excellent. And <laughs> I'm not a danger person. Okay. I'm a normal person. Um, I'm working right now in a in a call center. In my my goal for um, for studying English is to learn English because I want to be in an English account. That's uh, the first thing that I want to do. The next one is uh, to improve my ex me, my accent. I know that I'm not the best in in this uh, language. Could be what can I say, but. I would like to improve and I would like to make a lot of friends in this Zoom. Of course, we're very, we are a very friendly group, Avenue. <laughs> <laughs> okay, super. Is your camera working okay? No, in this moment I have a, um, I am, I'm starting in my computer and I don't have a webcam. Oh. And in the, in the, in the phone, I don't like to, to okay. study because it's difficult for yeah, me. It I prefer yeah. to study in the computer. Computer. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, well, okay. That's fine. Um, maybe sometime you may be able to get a webcam or something. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Thank you. All right. Very good. Um, let's see. Anybody else that is new with me? I mean, not new to the program, but new with me. I think everybody else I know so far. Okay, guys. So it's eight oh nine. We're going to start. As I said, my name is Jessica Cerritos, and I'm going to be with you for these five weeks of intermediate level two. All right, so I am going to be your facilitator or your teacher. All right, so um, as I was just kind of mentioning, most of us, we come together for a while now. So we pretty much know each other. All right, so I believe that we have always worked fine. So I hope that we can keep on working okay. I'm gonna give you the general outline for this course. I have a question for, well, not for everyone, but especially for the ones that I don't know much. Are, is anybody new to the program? Not to the course with me, but to the program. No, nobody's new? I'm sorry, I can't understand what is the question. Could you be me, sure you. repeat again? All right, okay. I'm asking if someone is new to the whole program and has never taken English online with English Corporativo. Uh, um, do you want to say that if someone doesn't use or didn't use that website, something like that? No, what I'm asking is, are you new to the program? Uh, I can't understand. Were you in the last course before, Avner? No, I'm new. Okay, that's what I wanna know. Okay, excellent, thank you. Okay, Chamba, you're new too? Yeah, I knew. Completely new. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Very nice. Uh, Vane, what about yourself? No, I'm new. I'm not new. You're not new. All right. Okay. Very good. And Rafael, what about yourself? No teacher. You're not new either, right? 
No, okay. I was studying the, in the English program. Okay, all right, perfect, very good. Can you hear me better now, Rafael? Yes. Excellent, very nice, okay, yes. very good. All right, guys, so for the new um, uh, classmates that we have for these scores and for everyone else, just to be reminded, I'm going to present to you the outlines or the general details, things that we need to go over. All right, so I'm going to present and let me know if you can see it. All right, so let's see here. Can you guys see it? Yes. Yes, all right, so as I said, uh, yes, thank you. All right, so this is intermediate module two. For the ones that were with me last course, we finished number one. So now we move on to course number two, intermediate level, all right? For the ones that don't know me, this is me, all right? So I've been, well, I've been working as a teacher for the last 23 years. I work at UCA, at Evangelica, at Pedagogica, and of course here at Inglés Corporativo. So this is a little bit about me. So you get to know me a little bit. All right, so that's me and that's enough about me. These are some requirements that we need to go over. Uh, every time, every night that you guys connect with me, you need to put your uh, full name uh, according to Dewey. All right, so eh, veo que todos, la mayoría ya se conectó con todo su nombre tal cual aparece en su Dewey, Salvador Sorto. Or Chamba, um, if you please rename your um, your profile. If you cannot, I will do it gladly for you. All right. So just uh, we can do it a little later. That's okay. All right. But for the one for everyone else, you may do it. All right. Make sure that your name is according to your Dewey. Uh, it's another requirement to have your cameras on during the whole session. I understand that there are some cases that you may not have a webcam, you may not, um, or it's not working, and that's okay. Uh, but those are like rare cases, and it's understandable. The rest of you guys, you need to have your camera on at all times, all right? Just please make sure that you need to minimize the sound around you. If you leave alone uh, or it's not noisy, it's okay to have your mic on, but make sure that if you live with some other people, if they are watching TV, if your neighborhood is a little bit noisy, then make sure that your mic is off just so everybody is able to listen. I have to apologize because sometimes uh, I live on a highway, so sometimes there are trucks and they are very loud, but unfortunately I cannot really be turning off my mic all the time because I'm the one speaking, but I'll try my best and I do apologize for that, all right? Let's see, here guys, let's continue with this. Asistencia es al 100% de las clases. Quiere decir que en este programa realmente no hay permisos, ¿ok? Usted me puede decir, teacher, mire, fíjese que esto me pasó, all right? Eh, y yo no le puedo conceder un permiso puesto que no hay permisos. Eh, usted tiene que estar conectado conmigo de 8 a 10 de la noche, de lunes a viernes por 5 semanas. Yo sé que se vuelve cansado, ustedes han tenido un día largo de trabajo, pero estamos acá y todo requiere un poquito de sacrificio eh, y pues bueno, estamos acá con ese compromiso personal con el centro de formación que en este caso es inglés corporativo y obviamente con INSO porque es el que nos proporciona las becas y por el cual estamos acá estudiando este idioma. All right. Para eh, hacer constar que usted está en clase, se toma asistencia tres veces al inicio de la sesión. Por lo general, yo la tomo eso a las ocho y cuarto. La vuelvo a tomar a las nueve y la vuelvo a tomar a las diez de la noche. All right. Para hacer constar que usted estuvo conectado o conectada las 120 minutos que requiere el programa diario. All right. Eh, cuando yo llame, las, tome la asistencia y diga su nombre, usted puede, me, me puede decir, I'm here, present, presente, como usted guste, solo que sí necesito que se escuche. All right, eh, que usted está ahí. Igual todos los días 
eh, nosotros los facilitadores y facilitadoras nos quedamos 10 minutos más. All right. Y eh, cada uno de ustedes tiene su turno, por decirlo así. Por ejemplo, eh, me parece que este, vamos por orden de lista. Entonces, hoy, quiero ver, le tocaría, a, de hecho, a Abner los diez, los, sus 10 minutos y solo son 10 minutos en el mes, en, los, en las cinco semanas. No es que sea todos los lunes o todos los días. Ahora es Abner, mañana le toca a Trini, pasado mañana a Claudita, luego a Daniel. All right, y así nos vamos quedando 10 minutitos diarios. Una vez al mes le toca nada más. No se preocupe, ¿verdad? Si en serio me dijeron que era hasta las 10, yo hasta las 10 y 10. No, it's only one time. Only once. ¿Qué hacemos en esos 10 minutos? Por lo general, hacemos, en mi caso, yo hago las preguntas. Si usted tiene alguna duda con respecto al tema que se ha visto, y si sí, pues le ayudo. Y si no, conversamos un poquito nada más entre usted y yo para que practiquemos el idioma a little bit longer. All right, that's it. Una vez lo hizo, una vez hizo, se quedó esos 10 minutos, no se tiene que volver a quedar. Así que no se preocupe por eso. Lo que sí se recomienda es que usted tome a... Eh, ventaja de esos 10 minutos que solo va a estar con la facilitadora, que en este caso sería yo. Las tareas y evaluaciones, eh, es necesario que usted tenga un 80% dentro de la plataforma de aprendizaje, que ya voy a preguntar si todos tienen acceso a la misma. All right. Las tareas, nosotros acá en inglés corporativo no dejamos tareas extras, todas las tareas se hacen dentro de la plataforma eh, de aprendizaje. Ahí están las tareas. Usted no tiene que presentar más nada o hacer otra cosa aparte. Por eso mismo se le pide que se, le, que se haga y se cumpla, ¿verdad? Y también tiene que cumplir con un 80% de nota de sus tareas eh, que vamos realizando en la plataforma. All right. Entonces, eso es importante que ustedes puedan hacer. A ver, eh, y luego, pues ya todos, me parece que ya todos conocemos un poquito sobre la plataforma Zoom. All right, que es la que estamos usando. Creo que todos entraron sin ningún inconveniente, así es que estamos bien. Eh, igual usted sabe que hay un botón de silencio, lo puede encender, lo puede apagar, igual que la cámara, puede levantar la mano si tiene alguna pregunta. All right, pues los mando a los grupos pequeños si tiene alguna pregunta o alguna duda, me manda a llamar y yo entro a su grupo. All right. Esa es la presentación con la que siempre empezamos eh, cada módulo. ¿Verdad? Presentando obviamente el facilitador o facilitadora que está a cargo del nivel que está con ustedes. All right. Esos son como los lineamientos a grosso modo. No sé si alguien tiene alguna pregunta, eh, duda al, re, a, al respecto. Eh, antes de que yo continúe con los otros lineamientos que no están por ahí. Preguntas, dudas, no. Teacher, yo vi una parte donde decía que no están permitidos los permisos. ¿Qué quiere decir eso? Que no podemos ir al baño. No, ¿cómo no? Eso sí. <ríe> es que si me dan ganas de hacer pipí. No, claro, claro. Eh, no, cuando me refiero a permisos, Abner, por ejemplo, usted, eh, no sé, pasado mañana usted por alguna razón va a salir a otro lado, tiene otro compromiso y usted me dice, teacher, mire, yo entiendo que hay emergencias. ¿Verdad? Pero eh, yo no le puedo conceder un permiso. Usted tiene que estar ahí. Entonces, la, es como tratar el 100% de que usted esté en clase. ¿Verdad? Yo esté, por ejemplo, eh, Claudita, el, el módulo pasado, una de las compañeras tenía como mucho inconveniente por cuestión de salud. Entonces, ella igual se conectaba y está ahí. All right. Pero quizás no está tan activa. Hay compañeros que ven, van de camino, por ejemplo, van manejando. Entonces, pero ellos siempre se conectan y van oyendo, ¿verdad? Ya cuando llegan a su destino, uh -huh. entonces ya son más activos en la clase. La idea es que usted esté conectado a Abner hoy. Está así como que, ¿por qué permiso? Yo no le voy a decir, sí, Abner, no se preocupe, no entre. <ríe> no le uh -huh. puedo decir eso, ¿verdad? Porque acuérdese que eh, esa es una beca y el, uno de los requisitos, quizás el primordial, es que usted esté conectado el 100%. Por lo menos es del 80 arriba, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí puede faltar una o dos veces, pero si falta más de eso, puede que no pase el curso. Entonces, uh -huh. va a dejar de gozar de la beca. Sí, che. Hola, dígame, Domingo. Good evening. Good evening. Eh, fíjese que eh, quise mandar a Omar un enlace porque vieron tres personas conectadas en otro lado, incluyéndome. ¿De verdad, Domingo? Sí, y estaban viendo si no había clases allí, decían. 
Entonces, por eso mandé lo, al WhatsApp del grupo eh, que, no, no, que fue mal el enlace, mal la, el código que me habían mandado. Ah, y usted ya mandó, ya lo mandó al grupo, Domingo. Alguien lo mandó ahí, Eve, creo que fue. Ah, okay. eh, pero right. había tres personas ahí que estaban en otro, estábamos en otro lado, pero ahí se quedaron, te digo yo, o oh, reaccionaron, tal vez. Ok, all right. Bueno, esperemos que ellos se conecten. Sí, de hecho, eh, son los compañeros de administración los que se encargan de esos enlaces. Cualquier cosa, igual yo les voy a comentar y esperemos que ellos ya no tengan inconveniente para poder ingresar o más tarde o mañana, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Gracias, Domingo. Ok. Excelente, very nice. ¿Alguien más que tenga algún comentario o duda respecto de lo que se ha hablado hasta ahorita? No. All right, very good. Ah, igual siempre de las, sobre las normas de convivencia, ¿verdad? Eh, no podemos estar cenando en clase. <ríe> eh, yo entiendo que es una hora así como muy, muchos tendemos a cenar a eso de las 8 de la noche, 8 y media. Eh, pues hoy tiene que cenar antes <ríe> o cena después igual que yo, ¿verdad? Pero no puede estar aquí eh, con un tamal o con los frijoles o con pizza o con algo porque no me van a poner atención para me estar viendo a Roberto que está comiendo una deliciosa pizza, Roberto Bernabé. ¿Verdad? Entonces así como que rica la pizza, entonces ya no me ponen no, atención. <ríe> no estoy comiendo. No, yo sé, yo sé. All right, entonces sí, por favor, obviamente puede tener un vaso con agua, con jugo, gaseosa, eh, café, eso obviamente sí se puede, ¿verdad? No tiene precisamente también, hablando de eso, de pedirme permiso para ir al baño. Usted apaga un ratito su cama y se levanta y no pasa nada, ¿verdad? No me tiene que decir así como niño de primaria, el dueño puede ir al baño, ¿no? Usted vaya. <risa> un ratito, ¿all right? Así es que eso. Eh, igual, sé que no está de más decirlo porque ya hemos tenido situaciones, no en mi caso, pero sí se han dado, yo sé que ustedes están en la comodidad de su casa y de repente uno se va sintiendo como más cómodo, más cuando va transcurriendo la noche. Y esto quizás vamos un poco para los caballeros. Eh, usted está en clase y usted si fuera a la academia o si fuera a cualquier institución, usted no se va a quitar la camisa, ¿verdad? Entonces yo sé que usted está en su casa y ahí quizás está cerquita la cama, ¿verdad? Pero es así de, ah, me quito la camisa y recibo la clase. No, lo siento. ¿Verdad? Yo sé que esos músculos han de ser así como very nice, pero no. All right, así es que evitamos enseñar músculos o de repente usted esté en la cama acostado así tampoco, ¿verdad? O acostado o acosada. Entonces, sí estamos en las casas, pero tratando de aprender, ¿verdad? Y de la más forma cómoda, pero tampoco llegando a, a incomodar a los demás. All right, eso sí es importante. ¿Verdad? No sé, um, quiero ver qué más se me queda. Creo que solo eso en general. Los niños, niñas que han venido conmigo, algo que se me está quedando ahorita. No. I don't think so, right? No, thank you. Right, thank you. Igual, thank you, Daniel. Igual, eh, pues los que ya conocen mi forma de trabajar, mi metodología es que los hago hablar. Necesito que participen. Cada vez vamos al intermedio. Vamos, vamos avanzando. Pues vamos al intermedio dos. Si usted no habla, yo lo hago que hable. Y si usted entre más me dice que no sepa, más le voy a preguntar. Entonces, mejor practíquelo, ¿verdad? Así estamos en paz todos. Eh, igual el grupo es bonito, el grupo es muy amigable. Todos nos ayudamos entre todos y todas. Así es que eh, hay momentos que podemos encontrar personas que hablan un poquito más y otros que hablan un poquito menos. Entonces, a mí me gusta estar como en, como en medio, ¿verdad? Para apoyar a los que nos cuesta un poquito más. Y que los que pueden un poquito más nos apoyen a los demás, ¿verdad? Así es que, pues, invitarles a esa armonía del grupo que siempre hemos tenido. Y, y pues, nada, a, a, a participar, a que las dos horas no se sientan, porque son cinco semanas. All right. Eso me lleva a lo siguiente, el plataforma. ¿Quién tiene ya acceso de plataforma? Levánteme la manito. I don't have access. You don't have access, Abner? Mm -mm, I don't have. Ok, that's ok. ¿Alguien más aparte de Abner que no tenga acceso? Hmm. Abner, Billy, Fuentes, Flores, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Yes, Abner, ¿no le mandaron ningún código a su correo, a su WhatsApp? ¿No? Yes, sí, recibí, sí recibí un código en mi WhatsApp, pero... Eh, 
Sí, ingresé y todo, pero cuando coloco mi correo electrónico y la contraseña 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, no me funciona. Entonces, no sé qué es lo que sucede okay. realmente. ¿Y el correo, Abner, es el mismo con el que usted se inscribió o está metiendo otro correo? Yo, según yo, el correo es el personal, es Abner el 7 No sé si lo puede corroborar. Fíjese, Abner, que lamentablemente yo no. Lo que sí puedo uh -huh. hacer y con gusto lo voy a hacer es pasar el dato suyo mañana en la mañana para que mis sí. compañeros eh, verifiquen y le puedan dar el apoyo hoy. Perfecto, sí, porque yo solo tengo dos correos realmente, el, cor okay. el de la empresa y el, y el mío personal. Okay. Entonces ya usé los dos y no funciona. Ah, okay, okay. Y, ok, y usted se inscribió, me dice, con el personal. Sí, según yo sí. Bueno, ok, está bien, no, no se preocupe. A ver, ¿alguien más aparte de Abner que no tenga acceso a la plataforma o que no le hayan mandado el acceso a la plataforma? All right. Entonces, entiendo que todos los demás sí y las demás sí. ¿Quiere decir que ya exploraron la plataforma? Levanten la manita si ¿sí exploraron plataforma. Excelente, María. Yes, teacher. Excellent, guys. Very good. Si no lo ha hecho, no se preocupe. Va a tener tiempo para hacerlo, pero eh, sí le recomiendo que lo haga para que se empiece a familiarizar, especialmente si es nuevo en el programa. ¿Verdad? Como dije, nosotros no dejamos tareas individuales o aparte. Todo está dentro de la plataforma. Le voy a explicar uh, así como rapidito. Nosotros recibimos, hoy es la clase 1 y hoy tiene tarea 1. Mañana es clase 2, tiene tarea 2. Pasado mañana es clase 3 y tiene tarea 3. Entonces quiere decir que cada día usted tiene una tarea. Yo le recomiendo que haga la tarea ya sea al terminar la clase o el siguiente día antes de la siguiente clase para que no se me vaya a atrasar. ¿Verdad? Nosotros revisamos plataforma al final de la semana esperando que la unidad 1, la, uni, la primera unidad esté completa para el viernes, eh, sábado al mediodía, más o menos sábado en la tarde yo reviso, ¿verdad? Para que usted esté al día. Después de la unidad 2 y de la unidad 4, nosotros tenemos un examen que siempre está dentro de la plataforma de aprendizaje. Entonces usted revisa y hace su examen, igual no pasa nada, la idea es que lo haga después de la unidad 2 y de la unidad 4. All right. eh, eso con respecto a los exámenes. Entonces, no, tiene, no vamos a hacer exámenes aparte, no vamos a hacer tareas aparte, todo es dentro de la plataforma de aprendizaje. Okay. Los, las clases se graban con dos objetivos. Una, por auditoría de Insafor. Dos, porque usted puede el siguiente día a eso ya de las 10 de la mañana, 11 de la mañana, esta clase está subida en YouTube, all right, en, el canal de la, en, el, en el canal de la academia, donde se puede, por alguna razón, usted no estuvo, entró tarde, iba manejando, no puso mucha atención, usted puede volver a ver la clase si usted gusta, ¿verdad? Entonces, ahí queda. Eh, y me faltaba algo más. Sorry, guys, yo sé que hoy estaba hablando mucho, pero I'm sorry. Um, es primer día. Si quiero ver. Sobre la plataforma, I think that's it. All right, si me acuerdo, se los, se los comento igual. All right, any questions? No sé si alguien más tiene alguna pregunta o algo sobre lo que acabo de explicar. No? All right, los que ya ingresaron a la plataforma, descargaron su manual. ¿Lograron descargar el manual? Yes, teacher. All right. Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Creo que compartieron un poco. Sí. Ah, vaya, ya lo van a. Ya, ya voy a ver si quien lo pueda mandar al grupo. Igual yo siempre comparto el manual eh, aquí en la clase, así es que no se preocupe si no lo ha logrado descargar aún. All right. Ok, voy a pasar la primera asistencia hoy por ser primero. Ya está en el grupo. Ok. A ver, sí, eh, eso con la lista. Abner Eli Fuentes Flores. Present. Adela Trinidad González con suegra. Present. Thank you. Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gómez. Present teacher. Thank you. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Domingo Alexander González. Present teacher. Ever de Jesús Candrae Montano. Present teacher. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Jorgito. José Roberto, Present. thank you. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Present teacher. 
Carla Benazir Lara González. Present. Carla Michelle Prisuela Portillo. Permítame. Eh, Carla Vanessa Vázquez de Ayala. Present. Thank you. Uh, Kevin Esteban Mejibar Merino. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Present teacher. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Arnulfo Villatoro Herrera. Present. Thank you. Rafael Ernesto Hernández Sandoval. Present teacher. Salvador Augusto Sorto Rivas. Present. Thank you. Uh, Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemus. Present teacher. Victoria María Vázquez Juárez. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Present teacher. Thank you. Mayra Roxana Hernández Flores. Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. Present teacher. Bismar Ulises Martínez Ortiz. Doris Guadalupe Alfaro Rodríguez. Ana María Palacio Araujo. Palacios Araujo. All right. Ah, Debbie no está. <laughs> All right, very nice. Okay, guys, so I just took the first attendance y es así como se toma la siguiente y la última. All right, very good. Okay, guys, so let's open up the book. It's, I'm going to share my screen with you here. Give me a second. Teacher. Hola. Mientras que usted estaba haciendo la, la mientras que estaba pasando la lista, estaba traduciendo acá y logré entrar. Excelente, super, very good. All right, thank you. Uh -huh. All right, okay. So this is the book, para los que no lo han logrado descargar, este es el manual, de hecho no es un libro, es un manual, el que nos ayuda a nosotros los facilitadores a tener una guía de lo que nosotros queremos que ustedes aprendan. Acuérdense que este es inglés para el trabajo, all right? Pero en este caso conmigo, lo que tratamos de hacer es enlazar inglés para el trabajo con inglés del día a día, all right? Entonces hacemos esa unión o esa fusión, all right? Acá tenemos eh, las cuatro unidades que comprende el manual. Unit one, product development. Unit two, product testing. Unit three, the production line. Number four, assessing risk. All right. Y usted me va a decir, teacher, pero son cinco semanas. Y aquí solo hay cuatro unidades. All right. Para los que vienen, eh, que no vienen conmigo ante, de, de, de antes, eh, son, cuatro son cuatro unidades, pero son cinco semanas. La unidad dos la extendemos por dos semanas. Entonces, usted no se preocupe. Yo ahí lo voy llevando de la mano. Eh, Usando material extra y usando, obviamente, material dentro del manual. ¿Ok? All right, guys. ¿Qué vamos a ver acá? Aquí está la unidad 1, Product Development. Y esas son las competencias que usted eh, le queremos formar o ayudar a que desarrolle. Por ejemplo, describe the specific activities to take place at the stages of a product development process. A sketch the concept of a product line. Describe the application of each step, blah, blah, blah. All right, so that is the competencies or the objectives of unit one. Y así sucesivamente ve unit two, unit three, unit four. Entonces, ¿cómo nosotros adquirimos o llegamos a alcanzar esta competencia? A través de esta gramática que está acá. Entonces, the grammar in unit one, lo que vamos a ver es the present perfect tense. All right. Reduction of adverbs and clauses of time. Esas tres cosas como puntos gramaticales se van a ver durante la unidad 1. Y así sucesivamente la gramática de la unidad 2, 3 y 4. All right. Entonces hay mucho ejercicio, mucho trabajo en grupo, eh, mucha interacción. If you want to call it that way. All right. No sé si tienen alguna pregunta. Questions? No. Excellent. Very nice. Okay, guys, so we're going to start right now. Unit one. A ver, solo que esto lo veo bien chiquito. ¿Se ve mejor? 
Can you guys see it properly now? Yes. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very nice. All right. So here we have unit one. I will be able to. A ver, Chamba, can you please read? I will be able to. I will be able to describe the specific activities that take place at the stage of production development process. Excellent. Thank you. All right. Very nice. Uh, let's see here. Oscar Arnulfo, can you read number one? Let's start. Okay, no problem. Let's start. Product development. How important is to plan the development of a new product? What happened is a product and a launch to market without being carefully developed. Have you heard about lots of art that are withdrawn from the market? Why do you think that happened? Thank you, Oscar. That, that was nice. All right. So here it says, number one, how important it is to plan the development of a new product. What happens if a product is if launched to the market without being carefully developed? Have you heard about lots of cars that are withdrawn from the market? Why do you think that happens? All right. Ya vamos a regresar to these questions, but right now I want to do the first conversation of this course. Let's see, uh, Rafael, can you read donde dice Rodrigo hasta donde dice conversation? Rodrigo and Edgar. Okay. Rodrigo and Edgar are the founder of the Speech Master in Academy to help business people be converted at public speaking. They want to after new course and they are discussing the character or their new product with the conversation. Thank you, Rafael. All right, very good. Let's see. Um, Daniel, can you read again from Rodrigo to conversation, please? Daniel, está leyendo muy bien, solo que no le escucho. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay, uh, Rodrigo and Edgar are the founder of Speech Master. An academy to help business people become better at public speaking. They want to offer a new course and they are discussing the characteristics of their new product. Read the conversation. Excellent, thank you. All right, okay. So Rodrigo and Edgar are the founders of the Speech Masters, an academy to help business people become better at public speaking. They want to offer a new course and they are discussing the characteristics of their new product. Read the conversation, all right? A ver, Rodrigo, Ever, can you please be Rodrigo? And Walter, can you please be Edgar? Okay, teacher. Hi, Edgar. I wonder if you could give me some pointers to play the new course. I don't know where to start. First, you shall write down any idea related to the market we want to offer, of course. Good idea, but this still sounds confusing. I have never done anything like that. Don't worry, partner. It's not a big idea. After the idea generation, we should go for the screening, the concept development, and testing the business analysis. I don't know sure, understand. Relax, I've done this keep of work before. Just give me time and I will teach you how to do it. All right, thank you. All right, let's see. Uh, Vanesita? También tengo otra Vanes. So, Vane and Vanesita. You're Vanesita. Vanesita, que viene ya conmigo anteriormente. Vanesita, can you be Rodrigo? And uh, let's see here. Vicky, can you be Edgar? Okay, teacher. Okay. Hi, Edgar. I wonder if you could give me some pointers to plan the new course. I don't know where to start. First, you should write down any idea relates to the market where 
We want to offer our course. Good idea, but it still sounds confusing. I have never done anything like that. Don't worry, parents. It's not be ideal. After the idea generates, we should go for the screening, the con concept development, and testing the business analysis. I'm not sure I understand. Relax, I be done this kind of work before you give me time and I will teach you how do you eat. All right, thank you. All right, so here we have this conversation, guys. It says here, hi, Edgar, I wonder if you could give me some pointers to plan the new course. I don't know where to start. First, you should write down any idea related to the market we want to offer our course. Good idea, but it still sounds confusing. I have never done anything like that. Don't worry, partner, it's not a big deal. After the idea generation, we should go for the screening, the concept development and testing the business analysis. I'm not sure I understand. Relax, I've done this kind of work before. Just give me time and I will teach you how to do it, all right? So here we have this conversation about two people. I'm gonna stop sharing right now. Okay, from what we um, just read, what are they talking about? I don't want you to read it again. I want you to explain what is Rodrigo and Edgar talking about? Hi, Kevin. Someone tell me what is Rodrigo and Edgar, what are they talking about? Rodrigo and Edgar talking about the program whose, whose they look uh, offering to the client. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. Anybody else? What are they talking about? What are they talking about? What else are they talking about? What did you guys understand about that conversation? Okay, I'm going to do it. Um, I understand that Rodrigo wants to know um, in the first, uh, he wants to know some points. The, uh, um, the, okay, I don't know how to do it, but I understand that Rodrigo wants to listen how he's going to, um Edgar do the things to the next course and Rodrigo says I don't know how to do it because I am not sure if I'm going to do something like this Edgar says um, I'm going to teach you to have to get ideas then you have to develop the ideas and we are going to start with this and uh, Edgar says I I don't know how to I'm not sure to do this but um Rodrigo Keep in saying, don't worry, you have you get ideas, then we are going to teach you how to do it. Okay. All right, very good. Thank you. All right, anybody else? Thank you, Anir. That was very complete. Anybody else? All right, perfect. Okay, that's fine. Let's see. Let's go back here, guys. Yo solo espero que solo hoy estén así como callados y calladas. All right. Just tomorrow we start talking off here. All right. So you guys, I want you to check the conversation again. And can you please check if there are any words that you don't know? That you don't know the meaning or you don't know the pronunciation exactly. Develop analysis could be. Okay, hold on. Develop this one right here. That one, Aune? Mm -hmm. An analysis. Mm -hmm. All right, okay, very good. Anybody else? Play later. The latter. Uh, the second sentence. 
No, no, next. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Later. All right, anybody else? Screening. Screening. Okay. okay, anything else? ¿Alguna otra palabra de ahí? ¿Anybody else? Still. Still. Still so. Eh, Domingo, you were telling me? Domingo, you mentioned the word. It's still, it's still. So, this is about is still so. Ah, this one. Is still that one? Okay, any other? Withdrawn. Where is it? Which one did you mention? I couldn't pick it up. I couldn't really hear it. We drown. I say we drown. I'm sorry. Here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Anybody else, guys, from this whole page? Okay. All right. Let's see. What about this one? Everybody knows this word? Launched. Yes or no? It's like a como lanzamiento. Yes, it is. Okay. All right. Teacher, Anything else? Uh, yes. Teacher, about the last, the last sentences of progresso, all sentences. I'm not sure I understand. Uh -huh. decir, no estoy seguro de entender. Exacto. Sí. Ah, ok, ok. Yep. Sí, porque veo, porque veo en I'm not sure y veo en I understand. En uh -huh. I understand es en yo entiendo. That's right. Entonces sería eso. Eh. No estoy seguro de entender. Exactamente. Así se para... Yes, Daniel. Oh, oh, ok, ok. Thank you. Excellent, thank you. All right, let me Teacher, see. Uh, I... Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Um, I want to know how to pronounce two characteristics. Yeah, characteristics. Is that correct? Yeah, it is okay. correct. Yes, very nice. Thank you. Okay, thank you. All right. Uh, let me see here, guys. I just want to check them quickly. All right. Teacher. Yes. Car, 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 Ah, uh, donde Claudita, where is it? Um, está la pregunta en la primera. Carfield. Uh, la parte de developing. ¿Dónde está la pregunta? Carfield. Ah, uh, carefully, esta. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Carefully. Carefully. ¿Qué yes, significa? Carefully. Cuidadosamente. Cuidadosamente, Claudita. Thank you. Yes, don't worry about it. All right, let's see. Okay, guys. So we have here launched. That's the word. Carefully. Withdrawn. Characteristics. Related. Still. Screening. Development and analysis. All right. So those are the words that we have here right now that we may not know. Now. When we talk about launch, es cuando es algo es eh, impulsado, cuando es lanzado, un lanzamiento de algo, de un nuevo producto in this case, all right? Carefully is like be careful, all right? So you have to carefully develop, it's like cuidadosamente, withdrawn es retirar, all right? Characteristics, obviamente son características, related es relacionado a, uh, but 
it still sounds todavía o aún suena así como I'm sorry teacher I couldn't hear you um, about we drown retirar retirar yes okay thank All you right. yes very good en este caso retirar del mercado verdad very nice luego tenemos bueno decíamos still es aún All right. Screening puede ser proyección, puede ser investigación. En este caso podría ser más proyección del producto o del curso. Development, uh, desarrollo. And analysis, analysis, as an analysis. All right. So that would be what we have here. Now, this is what I want you to do. Okay. I want you to work on this right now. Number one, how important it is to plan the development of a new product, all right? What happens if a product is launched to the market without being carefully developed? Have you heard about lots of cars that are withdrawn from the market? Why do you think it happens? What I want you to do is I want you to work in number one and answer those four questions, all right? Do you understand the questions that are here? Yes, for sure. Yes, all right. Entonces, yes, in your groups, I'm gonna send you to your group. Oh, you know what? I don't know. Can someone take a picture of this? Porque no todos tenemos el manual aún. Can someone take a picture of this and send it to the group? I'm going to do it. Thank you. Give me one second, please. All right. Miss? Yes. What is the meaning in the question number two? Is struggling. I, I... Ah, withdrawn? In the question two? What, what, is the step, what is the step of the product development process, Rodrigo? Is is struggling with I don't I don't know its meaning this word done ah you're in, oh, you're in exercise number three chamba yes yes right. miss okay don't worry about exercise number three right now but a struggling for example is when usted tiene problema con algo you struggle with something or you have a like a small problem or issue with something that's what it means Okay, thank right, you, you can Mr. struggle with a situation, you can struggle with your feelings, you can struggle with someone at work. All right, so it's like a small problems, all right, that you need to deal with and your face to deal with. Okay, all right, thank you. Thank you. Excellent. Um, Avner, did you send the picture? Yes, that's correct. Excellent, thank you. All right, guys, right now, what I want you to do only exercise one the four questions. ¿Me entienden lo que van a hacer? Solo ejercicio uno. Contestar en los grupos. Lo voy a mandar a los grupos. Esas cuatro preguntas del ejercicio uno. All right. Los que ya vienen conmigo saben que hay que hacerlo. Si están trabajando en computadora o en tablet, hacerlo ahí porque vienen y me presentan. Pan, compartimos pantalla, el cual Johnny ya no está aquí para recordarme. Um, compartimos pantalla y vamos revisando. Ustedes leen y yo reviso. All right, yes. Eh, okay. We understand what we to, what we are going to do. Yes. No. Yeah. All right. Yes, but um, could you be so kind to repeat again just to confirm, please? Yes. No problem. All right. What I want you to do is I want you to go over exercise one and answer the mm -hmm. questions that are in exercise one, only exercise one. Mm -hmm. What I want you to do is discuss with your group the questions and come up with answers. Okay? okay. Mm -hmm. All right, for example, guys, I'm just gonna give you an example. Number one, the question number one is how important it is to plan the development of a new product. Do you guys think it's important to plan the development of a new product in general. Doesn't matter the product. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Do you think it's important? Yes. Mm -hmm. Why? Yes. Why is that important? Yes. 
why do you think it's important? I want you to just not tell me yes, but I want you to give me a reason <laughs> why. All right, so eso es como la dinámica, Abner, all right? Leer okay. las preguntas, analyze them, and come up with answers. Together okay. as a group. No es trabajo individual en grupo, ¿verdad? Están ahí, vuelvan a leer las preguntas, analícenlas, and como grupo tienen una sola respuesta, okay? Ah, okay, perfect. Excellent. Thank you. Let's go. Para los que son nuevos, voy a habilitar grupos. Solo dele aceptar y se va a un grupo chiquito y ahí se queda hasta que yo lo saco. Yo saco a todo el mundo, ¿ok? Después yo les doy unos minutos, 10 minutos quizás. Vamos para allá. All right. A ver, Roberto, Claudita, uh, Abner, si puede participar. Vane, Vanesita, Roberto, yes. Claudia, can you participate? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Yes, teacher. Excellent, Claudia. Nice. Okay. Teacher, aún no estoy en ningún grupo. <laughs> ¿De verdad, Claudita? A ver, ahorita la muevo, bien raro. Yo creo que se debe haber cerrado antes de tiempo. Ahorita la mando. Gracias. Oscar, Rafael, ¿le salió la invitación al grupo? Sí, teacher. Excelente. Vaya, Claudita. Va con Vicky. Okay. No, no me cayó. Está en teléfono, Claudia. No, teacher. Estoy en una tablet. Pero no me cae. Permítame, déme un segundito. Rafael, ¿no le cayó la invitación? No, teacher. En mi teléfono estoy. No veo. A ver, fíjense que a veces no sé por qué con teléfono cuesta, pero ya vamos a ver, permítame. Claudia, la voy a volver a unir a otro grupo, Claudita. Ok. Mire ahora, Claudia. Pero no me sale la invitación, teacher. No le aparece en ningún lado de la pantalla. No. Mire ahora, Rafael. ¿Claudita? No, aquí estoy. <ríe> no me parece nada. Mm -hmm. Qué raro. Vamos a ver, Claudita, vamos a volverla a mover. ¿no? Okay. Nada, Claudia. Nada, fíjese. Claudita, ¿le costó ingresar ahora? ¿Qué ingresó temprano, a las 8? Mm, fíjese que... Que lo que sucede es que como venía todavía de camino, ingresaba al inicio con el, en el celular. Uh -huh. sí, y después sí. con el... Le preguntaba para, para que intentemos lo siguiente. Si se puede desconectar y volver a ingresar. A veces eso funciona. Ah, ok. Voy a hacerlo entonces ahorita. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok. Thank you.
en el teaching. Hola, Claudita, vamos a intentarlo. Sí, ah. Bueno. Hola, ahorita. ¿Y ahora, Claudia? Ahora. Thank you, teacher. Excellent. Thank you.
Muy poquito tiempo, teacher. Really? Did I finish? No. no. Me faltó. Solo la uno contestamos. Buenísimo. All right, ya vamos a ver cómo les fue los demás. Espere. All right, guys, did you finish? Chamba, uh, Roberto, Mariano, Ever, yes? Yes, miss. Right. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, all right. Okay, um, Vicky, no se preocupe. All right, ya vamos a ir llenando ahí espacios. Don't worry about it. Igual con Claudita. All right, so let's see. Let's talk about this. Let me see, guys, here. Exercise group number. <laughs> I was going to say group number two, Mariano, but I used to stay. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're always the first one. That's okay, Mariano. Es para darle la bienvenida. A ver, Mariano. Mariano, Oscar, and Walter, all right? So the first question. Wait, guys. The first question here is how important it is to plan the development of a new product. What is your answer? Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, Cher. How important is to plan the development of a new product? Mm -hmm. It's important because if the plan is good, the product has good sales in the market. The new product is covered and is a necessity, necessity? necessity from the customer. Okay, all right. Um, who, was, who else was in your group? Water. Walter and Oscar. All right. Let's see. All right. Let's see. Um, Walter, what about number two? What happens if a product is launched to the market without being carefully developed? We write the product has low probability to success and lost the investment. Oh, nice. All right. Very good. Let's see. Oscar, what about number three? Have you heard about lots of cars that are withdrawn from the market? Yes, maybe problem with the design with braid on airbags, relax of sensor from the engineering development. Okay, all right. And the last one again, Mariano, why do you think that happens? What do you think that happened? With short time to launch product because we have a high competition with the demand, on demand. The, in this case, it's more probability to make mistakes in the design or development about the product. Okay, all right, Veamos. Let's see, how, okay, let's see. A ver, let's go back to number one, Mariano's group, all right? Because if the plan is good, no, it's good, is good. Because if the plan is good, the product has good sales in the market. The new product search covers a necessity from the customers, from or for the customers? For. For the customers. For the customers. Yeah. For the customers, it only covers with S, Mariano. Walter is waiting. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Walter, sorry. What happens if a product is not in the market? Yeah. The product has low probability to succeed. The product has low probability to succeed. Not to success, to succeed. So, see this. How to write? Succeed with E? Do it like that. Excuse me. No, it's just double C. Quitele las S. D. Succeed. Double E. Double E. Succeed. E D. Easy. Yeah. No, those is a eh, Walter. Succeed. Maybe the problem with the design with the brakes, airbags related to a sensor from the engineer development. Yes. 
with short time to launch product because we have high competition with the demand in this case. Okay, and the última oración, Walter, in this case, it's more probable, not probability, sino que probably, probable to make mistakes in the design or development of all the product. Okay, thank you. All right, by aguardándolo ahí, very nice, thank you. Let's see, next group, I wanna hear from Chamba and Roberto Bernabé. Good teacher, let, let me show you. Okay. All right. You can see? Yes, I can. Okay. You can just read the answers if you want to, not the questions. Yes, only on the answer. For the first, uh, how important is it is to plan the development of any product? Uh, it's important because it's necessary to know the demand and necessities of the customers. The plan it is important because of this depend the sex so far. Okay. All right, chamber number two. Okay. Only read the answer. The yeah, answer. Sure. Yes, only read the answer, Chamba. Okay. The quality can be bad and the cost of the product can be expensive. Oh, all right. Very nice. All right. Roberto, number three again. Okay. Uh, yes, one of components of the car have defects. Have defects. Okay. And the last one, Chamba, number four. They don't have a quality test before launch. Ah, before launch. All right. Let, let, let it, um, just give me a second, Roberto, because, a ver, number one, because it is necessary, or it's necessary, uh -huh, to know the demand and necessities of customers, the plan, it is important. A ver, como ya tenemos the plan, ya no necesito el it. The plan is important. Uh -huh. Because of this depends, depends with S, the successfulness. Successfulness, N-E-S-S. -S. No, one E. The quality can be bad and the cost of products can be expensive. Yes, one of component of the car had defects. They don't have a quality test before before launched. Very good, yes, thank you. Thank you, Chamba, thank you, Roberto, very nice. Okay, teacher. All right, we're gonna check one more group and then we can go on with the rest. Are there volunteers to check or to share? Anybody wants to volunteer? Eran ocho grupos, volunteers? Me, teacher. Nosotros, perdón. All right, a ver, Vanesita. Reyes, you were with? Carlita, all right. Carlita. Okay, the first one, how, how important is to plan the development of a new product? It's very important because with a plan, you have a step to follow and the product is developing in each stage correctly. Okay. Number two, Carlita. Okay, what happens if a product, a product is launched to the market with paint, careful develop? And the product lost quality, and there is a risk that it was a bad investment. It could be a total failure. Okay. And the last one: Have you heard about lots of cars that are withdrawn with 
from the market? Why do things that happen? The car sales from competition and it is cheaper prices. Also, the companies didn't make service or focus group with their possible customers to know if they like the new car. Oh, I like that. Very nice. Thank you. Let's see. Um, how important is it? It's very important because with a plan, you have a steps to follow and the product is developing in each of <clears throat> uh, The product loses quality and there is a risk that it was a bad investment. It could be a total failure. And then is it failed? Is uh U R E U R E Yeah, failure. Uh huh. Failure. Yes. Uh, why do you think that happens? The car sales from competition, and it's and it's and quítale el it and cheaper prices. De nada más and cheaper prices. Also, the companies didn't have didn't make surveys or focus groups focus groups with S with their possible customers to know if they like the new car. I like that. I that's those are very nice answers. Thank you. Okay, thank thank you. you. Excellent. Very good. All right. Thank you. Very good, guys. Very nice. Okay. Anybody else that wants to just talk about it? Quizás no compartirlo, sino que solo just talk about it. I don't know, Ever or Abner or um or Vane, Vasquez, anybody, Kevin, anybody that wants to talk a little bit about what you guys did? No? Okay. All right. Next time is going to be your turn then. All right. Let's see. Here we have this. Discuss number three. All right. Discuss the answers to the questions below. Number one. Do you think Rodrigo could develop the new course successfully by himself? Why or why not? Number two, what is the step of the product development process Rodrigo is struggling with? Number three, what steps should Rodrigo take after identifying the target market for the new product? Okay, now, do you want to answer this individually or you want to answer with like these questions in groups? Because if the fija no solo son the yes, no answers. I want you to explain. Do you want to work in groups or do you want to do it individually? I would like to uh, to get uh, groups. Yeah, all right. Groups is fine. Everyone agrees, yes? Yes, sure. All right, so let's work on number three, exercise one, two, and three. Acuérdese que struggling is like fighting or like having a problem with something, all right? What do you struggle with? Es lo que más le cuesta, Rodrigo, en este caso, all right? Based on the conversation that we have here, all right? So let's go. It's 9.25. I'll take you back at 9.35, I'll give you 10 minutes. Igual yo lo saco a todos. Let's go. Same groups. Igual si lo puede escribir, escríbalo aparte. Hola, Leti. Yes, teacher. Were you in a group before, Leti, or not? Uh, group one. Were you in a group before? Yes, yes, with uh, with with Abner and the other care, I don't no remember. Trini, Trini. Yes. Okay. There you go. No se conectó, teacher. No le salió la. No le salió la invitación. Por accidente lo, lo albanule. Ok, entonces la voy, a volver, la voy a mover ahorita y la voy a volver a mover para que esté de regreso con Abner y Trini, ok? Ok. En la segunda se queda con ella. <risa> ok, gracias. ¿Me mire ahorita? Uh -huh.
le apareció la invitación, Net. En la sala 9 me ubicó, teacher, no había nadie. Ahorita, sí, lo que pasa es que no vi que se fuera, entonces no sabía si su internet estaba fallando. Ok. Ahorita, perdón, ahorita va. Mire ahora. Ok, teacher, hoy sí. Excelente, bueno.
you guys finish? Did you finish, Evan? Yes, teacher. We got it. Excellent. Very nice. All right, so what do you guys think? Number one, do you think Rodrigo could develop the new course successfully by himself? Why or why not? Any ideas? Let's see, I wanna hear someone else. Um, Rafael, what do you think for number one, Rafael? Do you think Rodrigo could develop the new course successfully by himself? Hola, Rafael, me escucha. Hello, teacher. Repeat, please. Yes, the question number one, what's your answer? No? All right. No. No me escucha, Rafael. Yes, I listen, teacher. Okay, so question number one, do you have the answer for question number one? No, uh, no, no finish yet. Okay, all right, that's okay. Um, Ever, do you have the answer for question number one? Yes, teacher, we can share. Can I share? Where are you in? Only, Daniel, only, you only in? I work with Ever. Ah, okay, perfect. Yes. The same group. Yes, uh, I, I'm going to share the answer. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Ever you can read. Okay. The question we don't have. Okay. Number one, do you think Rodrigo could? Develop the new course successfully by himself. In our case, we put in no because Rodrigo don't have the no experience to do it for himself. Okay. Number two, what is the step of the product development process? Rodrigo is struggling with, mm -hmm. and Rodrigo have a struggling with the make some ideas about to offer the course. Okay. And number three, what step should Rodrigo take after identifying to target market for the new product? Mm -hmm. Rodrigo should go for the screening and testing the business analysis. Analysis, all right, okay, veamos ahí. A ver, number one, Daniel and Ever, hay una palabra que, que me, me resuena así. Miren la primera línea, no, because Rodrigo, ¿qué? I think uh, uh, um, uh, we have doesn't have. Doesn't have. Doesn't have. Doesn't have. Doesn't have. Doesn't have. No, no lo puedo modificar, teacher, porque es, un, es una captura de pantalla. Pero no, ya. Yes, yes. Lo modifica okay. después. All right. Doesn't yes, have doesn't, enough doesn't have. Yes. Enough yeah. no lleva la T al final. You don't have the T at the end. Ok. Enough. Ok. He has to do it for himself. To do it. All right, Rodrigo, igual la, la dos. Rodrigo have o Rodrigo has? Has. Falta la eso. Has, yes. yes. Or, yes. solo ponen Rodrigo struggles with. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. And Rodrigo should go for the screening and the testing, the business analysis. All right, number three is fine. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Excellent. Very nice. Let's see. Kevin's group. A ver, Kevin, who were you working with, Kevin? Kevin, you were working with Domingo. All right. Yeah. Uh -huh. So tell us. Okay. I didn't write down, but. That's okay. Uh, Just tell me. I think that it's very difficult for Rodrigo because it's so new for him. Mm -hmm. um, he doesn't know about sales or business or create to plan. I don't know. But in the second question, mm 
Hola, hola, Kevin. Lo perdimos. The second question is, I never have done. I need it like that. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, no, I can hear you, Kevin. I got an issue for my... I'm sorry, teacher, I got an issue. That's okay, that's fine. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, I say the the um I say that question for no I say I said the answer about one question. Do you think Rodrigo could be devel develop the new career successfully by him himself? For me, the answer is um Rodrigo. The I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I'm confused. Okay. Okay. For me, it's not because Rodrigo, uh, he is confused. Um, Rodrigo doesn't know about sales or business or um, um, how to create a plan. Okay. And, and the second question for me is the... Um, Rodrigo have never done anything like that. Okay. All right. Okay, perfect. Thank you. A ver, um, Vanessa, Van Vasquez, what about your answers? What do you guys think? Can I share? Yes, of course, please. Okay. Teacher, se le fue la segunda asistencia. ¿Mande, Jorge? No sé si yo... No dio la segunda asistencia, sí. Oye, no le logro escuchar. Sí, me pasó la asistencia la segunda vez. Me ah, recuerdo. no, pero no hay problema. Ya voy a pasar la última. <risa> ok, van a coger number one. Okay, uh, number one is if we think that uh, Rodrigo could develop the new course successfully by himself. Uh -huh. And we think that no, because he is not sure to understand what he has to do. Excellent, very good. And the number two is what is the step of the product development process Rodrigo is struggling with? Uh -huh. uh, and he has an, a clear idea related the, to the course. Mm -hmm. Okay. And number three, uh, what steps should Rodrigo take after identifying the target market to the new product? Uh, and go for the screening, the concept development, and testing the business analysis. Excellent, thank you. Leave it, Vane, please, I wanna see it. Uh, ah, Vane, leave it, leave it on. Okay. Can you share again, Vane, please? Oh. I just want to, I want to, I wanted to check and go over it. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Number one is fine. Number two, Vane and Jorge is he doesn't have, no, he hasn't. He doesn't okay. have a clear idea related to the course, yes. And yes, all right, very good. Yeah, I, I, that was the only thing I saw. Y luego, Vane is development, all right? The pronunciation is development. And okay. I think that was it. That's, that's great, thank you, Vanessa. Thank you, Jorge. Okay, you're welcome. Very nice, all right, okay. Let's see, anybody else that wants to share? I don't know if Rafael, Oscar, Abner, or Roberto, anybody else wants to share their answers? No, we're fine? Okay. All right, let's see here. 
this is what we have and it says building vocabulary all right so here we have how does a new product develop number the steps in order from one to eight then compare with a partner now what I want you to do right now is I want you to help me read. A ver, Daniel, can you read the first four on top? And then, uh, and then Abner, can you read the last four? Okay. Um, the product development, mm -hmm. concept development and testing, business analysis, ana Analysis. Analysis, yes, analysis. <laughs> analysis and test marketing. Excellent, thank you. Abner, can you read the last four? Mm -hmm. Idea screening, launch, commercialization, idea generation. Excellent, thank you. All right, so here we have product development, concept development and testing, business analysis, test marketing, idea screening, Launch, commercialization, and idea generation. All right, so here we have eight. Now, how do you think? How does a new product develop? What do you think happens first? What do you think happens second? And what do you think happened last? What is what is number one? What is number two? What is number three? All the way to number eight. Les voy a dejar ahí compartiendo pantalla. And then you guys tell me, I'm going to give you like one or two minutes, all right, telling me what is step number one, step number two, step number five, okay? I think the number one is idea generation. Oh, you think that's number one? Yes, I think, I don't know. <laughs> all right, okay, we might, we're going to find out that was number one. Who, what about number two, guys? What do you think is number two? Yeah. What do you think is number two? The business Concept analysis. Of... Domingo, do you think number two is business analysis? Business analysis. All right, let's write it here. All right, what about number three? Miss? Yes, Chamba. I think is the number two is idea screening. Because the first one, idea generation. And then idea screening. For me. Ah. Also, for Chamba, for you, idea screening would be number two. Chamba, is that correct? Number two is idea screening. The screening is. Project. Chamba, Chamba me escucha. Yes, miss. All right, so idea screening, I'm sorry. Idea screening for you is number two. Yes, for me. All right, okay. Yes. Pongámosle ahí number two. Vamos a ver, no se preocupen. A ver, so we have two number twos. All right, what about for the rest of you guys? Oscar, what do you think? Walter, what do you think ever? The rest uh, of you guys, uh-huh. Next product development after the... Excuse me, what? Uh, product development. Product development for use number three or number four? Number, number three. four. All right, so what would be number three then? Anybody else? What do you guys think? We I have what? 19 students. Mariano, what do you think? Vane Vasquez, what do you think? Carlita, Roberto, Trini? I think teacher, uh -huh. concept development and tasting is number five. Which one? Concept okay. development and tasting is number five. Okay, that's number five. All right. What about the rest of you guys? I think that the most, the easiest is launch. It's going to be the final. <laughs> Probably. So that would be number eight then. So to launch is number eight. 
<laughs> I think that. Yeah. All right. Perfect. What about six and seven, guys? Well, on three, actually. Test marketing is first and then a commercialization, I think. Ah, all right. Business analysis, business and analysis is number three. You think business analysis is number three? Yeah. All right. All right, so what is number five and number six and number seven? For me, the number seven is launch. Number eight, commercialization. <laughs> ah, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes. 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 The number six. The number six is marketing. The wait, 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 wait. This is number seven. No, this is number, number eight. No, no, eight. Number seven is launch. Launch. All right. Mm -hmm. yes. Number eight. No, no this, is, this is the number eight. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I got it. Go number on. seven is lounge. Lounge. All right. And number uh, six number is concept, so that marketing. Me. No. We need five and six. Number six five is marketing. Number six. Mm. <laughs> okay. What number five. The idea is screening. Is th this was number Concept two, right? Yes. And this, is, and this is number five? Yes. All right. All right. So number one, we have idea generation. Number two, we have idea screening. Number three, we have business analysis. Number four, we have product development. Number five, we have concept development and testing. Mm -hmm. Number six, we have test marketing and number seven, lounge and number eight, commercialization. All right, guys, what do you guys think? Tomele foto, mande al grupo y discutamos qué pensamos. Tenemos tres minutos para hacer eso. Okay, perfect. Keep me one second. All right, thank you. Miss, I think the number four is concept development and testing, and number five is product development. For oh, me. so you switch it, Chamba. You would switch it? Yes. Okay. All right. A ver, lo vamos a volver a poner aquí. A ver, Chamba dice this is five, and this is four. All right, guys. So. Vamos a dormir thinking about this tonight. <laughs> All right, okay. okay. We're gonna leave it like this. Lo vamos a dejar en suspenso. All right. Uh, Avner, did you take the picture? You did, right? Yes, if you want. Yes, if you want, I can take okay. another take new picture. One. Okay, take the new picture. Because okay, we have uh, other possible answers. And then tomorrow when we come back, then we can discover the, the real answers and if you guys are yeah. right or not, okay? Yeah. Teacher, do you don't say the answer this night? <laughs> no, I want you to suffer. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. no, tonight, all right. I, 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 uh, I got a screen this night with this. All right, very good. <laughs> Very nice. Okay. Uh, guys, by the way, uh, no hace mucho me uní al grupo de WhatsApp para la gente nueva. Ahí está ya mi número. All right. Look for me there. I'm Jessica Cerritos, and that's my number. In case you need to talk to me, um, I'm there. All right. Let me just take the last attendance of the night, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I said, for Avner, Avner, you're lucky. Today you're you have your 10 first minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Avner okay. el Cuentes Flores. Present. Thank you. Adela Trinidad González Consuegra. Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gómez. Present. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Domingo Alexander González. Present. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Jorito. Present teacher. Thank you. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Present teacher. Carla Benasquil Lara González. Present teacher. Thank you. 
a Carla Michelle Brizuela Portillo. Carla Vanessa Vázquez de Ayala. Present. Kevin Esteban Mejibar Merino. Present, teacher. Leticia Guadalupe García Miranda. Present, teacher. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present, teacher. Oscar Arnulfo Viatoro Herrera. Present. Rafael Ernesto Hernández Sandoval. Present, teacher. Thank you. Salvador Augusto Sorto Rivas. Present, miss. Thank you. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemus. Present. Victoria María Vázquez Juárez. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Present. Teacher. Mayra Roxana Hernández Flores. Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Miss Mar Ulises Martinez Ortiz. Doris Guadalupe Alparo Rodriguez and Ana Maria Palacios Araujo. All right, guys, thank you so much for being with me tonight. I'll see you tomorrow at eight on the dot. And uh, tomorrow, Trini, you stay 10 minutes. Today is Avner's turn, all right? Thank you, guys. Have a good night. Por favor, descarguen el manual and check the platform. Bye, good night. Bye, good night. Bye, Bye good night. Bye, yeah, good night. Good thank you, nice meeting you. Good night. Good night. So, Abner, how are you? I'm um, great. Thank you. <laughs> it has, it's a, I don't know how to say, but it's really rescue <laughs> to be here because I, I didn't have a opportunity to speak just face to face with my teacher or with oh, my... Oh, all right. So, yeah. <laughs> all right. That's nice. Thank you. Um, I know that this is like the first class, so usually we don't really have like many questions, but I don't mm -hmm. know. Is there anything, Avner, about anything that you want me to help you with? Or just, we can just chat for a little bit. So you just practice your English a little bit more. Um, in fact, I would like to, uh, I would like to take this opportunity to ask you something. Yes, go ahead. Yeah. I don't know how to use a, a word, and I, I'm very confused with this, is right. the next one. It's going to be even, I think, even. I'm going to write it for you. All right. Ian. Okay. I would like to know uh, how to use this. Uh, um, at least uh, I would like to get idea. All right. Um, even um, Avner, it has quite different meanings depending on the context. One mm -hmm. of the meanings that you use, for example, you say, let's say that we are playing a game. And then we, you score two points and I score two points and then we say, hey, we're even, all right? It's the same amount, all right? So that's one of the meanings of even. So we are like in the same score. You have two points, I have two points, so we're even. Um, another, um, another meaning of even is when you say we're even as in like uniforme, like no uniforme to wear, but like as in like, like this is the same, this is even, is like proper. That's another way to use even. All right. Mm, it's confused. What confuses you, Abner? The meaning or the use of it? Because it depends uh. on the meaning how you're going to use it. Have you have you heard this expression, Avner? Hold on. Have you used uh, have you heard this expression? Even though I think that even though it's going to be like I don't I can't under I can understand what is the what's the meaning and how can I use that, but just the word even is difficult to me. I don't know how when I someone tell when someone say. Even I don't know what he says <laughs> or he, she says. All right, even can also mean aún. Only even, all right? But still? También, you can use even and you can use it still. I can, I can say I even working on your request? No, that would be I'm still working on your request. Mm-hmm. What right. is the 
What is the difference this. between mm -hmm. those two? All right, you know what? Uh, you know what I'm gonna do, Avne? For tomorrow, I promise, I'm gonna tell you exactly the difference between still and even because they are very close in meaning. All right, and I think what you wanna do is you wanna use it in a sentence. All right, that's what you wanna do with the word even, right? I'm sorry? That's what you wanna do with the word even? You wanna use it in a sentence. That's what you wanna do. Yes, that's correct. Yeah, because even, solo la palabra even puede ser empatado, puede ser algo uniforme. If you're walking on the street and the, the, the road is even, es en pareja, está pareja, all right? O si estamos jugando algo, then we have, we're even, estamos empatados. But you want to use it in a different way, right? Okay, but how can I, I don't know, I, it's, that's the, that's the reason for me that is so difficult to use that. Okay, where have you heard it? Like in what kind of examples have you heard it? Uh, I'm sorry, could you be so kind to repeat again? Yes, what kind of, where, in which kind of sentences Avner, have you heard the word even? Uh, uh, I has uh, listened this work in uh, songs or when I am uh, watching movies, mm -hmm. but I can't understand. Or just, uh, I told you that I'm working in a call center and I have uh, co-workers that use the word that even. Word. And I don't understand what they can say because um, I sometimes, um, uh, I'm going to listen her calls because I want to learn about that, but I, I I lost the conversation. Okay, hold on. Mm -hmm. Hold on, give me a second. Um, but if you, if you want, you can uh, give me uh, one uh, one of one video that I can see or something yeah. that I can read, and I'm yeah. going to do it. Yeah, you know what? I'm just trying to type a sentence here. You can also use it like this. For example, he didn't have enough money. Mm -hmm. Sorry, he, he, didn't. Didn't, he didn't, no, me lo, me lo, he didn't even, he didn't even have, ni siquiera tenía, he didn't have, he didn't even have enough money. Ahorita se lo estoy reescribiendo. To buy food, for example. Mira ahora, he didn't even have enough money to buy food. O sea, ni siquiera tenía. Maybe in a call center they can say, I didn't even have my last bill, for example. I don't know, I've never worked in a call center. Um, so, ni siquiera tenía el último recibo cuando me estaba cayendo el otro, por decir algo, all right? So we can use that. I didn't even have the, re the, the previous receipt or the previous bill and I received the new one. All right, that's a way you can use even. As okay, perfect. Okay, perfect. Uh, I understand that it can be like the word get that is going to be multifacetical, I think. Yes, you even can use get. and get, they have a lot of meanings depending on how you want to use it. Okay, in this case, I'm going to try to uh, see or read a lot of sentences with this word, and I'm going to try to get the best idea. Yeah, and you know this. what? Tomorrow, Agnet, I promise I'm gonna um, I'm gonna give you like more examples and the difference between still and even because they're very. I mean, they're not really alike. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. perfect. Thank you so much for okay. your. Okay. For your time, I know that we finished because we are ready. Yes, that's okay. Very good, Avner. Nice meeting you, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Has been a pleasure to get yes. a class with you. Have a Thank good you. night. You too, Avner. Have a good night yourself. Bye. Bye-bye.